First, let me say this 1965 Ford was my favorite. Certainly, we won the championship with it and won a lot of races, including the Southern 500 at Darlington by 14 laps, a record that perhaps will stand forever. But it was such a great car to, to work with. It was the first year that Ford came out with coil springs on the rear. And all of the Ford cars up until then had leaf springs in the rear. And uh, it was a challenge for us to, to make the switch, but we were able to do it very successfully and were able to win the championship and 13 races and 42 top fives, 36 of those 42 were top threes, 45 top tens. So it turned out to be a very durable race car and uh, one that we were very, very proud of. Uh, of course, we worked with Ford Motor Company back then and they developed this candy apple blue color that uh, blue is my favorite color and so that's something I'm very proud of. And we've had opportunities over the years to have die-cast cars made of, of that car, but no one brought one to me that I really was, could sink my teeth into and that I felt good about because I looked at the quality of some work that had, that had been done before that they had on the market and that's what I wanted to see one of my cars built like. And so this is the first of the 1965 Fords and uh, uh, something that I'm very proud of. It's heavy. I mean, it, it's, it has workmanship in it. And, and everything is done to, to a T the way the car was. And th that makes me very proud to, for it to be out there on the market and fans can own a piece of history and a piece of history that was done right. And uh, I certainly appreciate the Phil Wout and all the folks at Icon for building this car and go to the extreme that they did and trying to, in every detail, trying to make it as authentic as possible and to make it something that fans would be proud to own. And then the box itself, I mean, it has a tremendous amount of history. Uh, not only the picture on the front, me standing beside that car at Daytona, but uh, uh, there are stories and other pictures as well. And so there's uh, a lot of history that you can buy when you, when you get this car. So if you're a race fan and a Ford fan or a Ned Jarrett fan, whatever, you need to get this car.